So I have a question for you. Would you say that you're a more autocratic leader or a democratic leader? Better yet, what do you think the people around you would say about your leadership style? Because that's really what ends up mattering in the end, how people follow you. So we're going to look at each of these styles and we'll look a little bit at the laissez-faire style of leadership in this video. Let's unpack it. Hello again friends, Alex Lyon here and this channel Communication Coach is here to help rising leaders like you increase your personal impact so you can lead the people around you to higher and higher levels of excellence. And a big part of that is your leadership style, how you come across, how people perceive you. We're going to look at two of the main leadership styles today. The first one is the autocratic leadership style. This is a little bit old school. It's the typical boss-centered approach to leadership, where the boss has a centralized approach to making decisions. He or she tells people what to do and expects them to follow. Typically, there's a high power distance between the boss and the other people. In other words, there's not a lot of intermingling and talking and socializing. There's a clear separation in rank. Now this leadership style can work and it is an appropriate, legitimate style of leadership. However, there are some strengths and some weaknesses. I would say the biggest strength is that when you're there and things need to be done and you're in control, things will generally get done. When you're telling people what to do and you're watching them, they will often follow through. On the downside, as soon as you leave the room, if you're normally being very autocratic and authoritarian, you leave the room, people will tend to stop working as hard because you're not there to watch them really closely. In my experience, new leaders tend to default to this autocratic style of leadership. So they get nervous, they have a new level of responsibility, and in that moment of anxiety, they snap into a more autocratic approach. So this is not necessarily one that I personally use, so let's talk about the second one, and that's the democratic style of leadership. This is the one that I prefer. This democratic style has a two heads are better than one philosophy. In other words, you're thinking more about the group. It's not boss centered. A democratic leader will tend to talk to his or her people quite a bit, gather feedback about possible decisions and see where people stand on an issue. It does not mean, however, that the democratic leader completely hands over power and responsibility. The democratic leader still may make all the decisions, but he or she does so with input from everybody. And then when the projects are delegated and the decisions are handed out, people can see themselves in those decisions. They feel a little bit of ownership. And the other benefit here is that when the democratic leader leaves the room, people will generally continue to work really hard. Even, they might not even notice that the democratic leader isn't there because they already feel like they're part of those decisions and they have ownership over those projects. The third style of leadership, which is not really one we're gonna focus on, is the laissez-faire style of leadership. And a lot of times people think this means the lazy leader, but it doesn't, it just means hands off. That's French for hands off. And sometimes this leadership approach is actually perfectly fine. For example, if you have really highly motivated, highly educated experts and you've hired all the right people, you shouldn't have to watch them very carefully. For example, if you're running a hospital and you've hired all the right surgeons, I hope that you don't have to go in there to your surgeons and say, okay, you know, do a great surgery today. You could do it. Come on, get fired up. You, hopefully your, your surgeons are already up to speed and excited about doing a good job and you don't have to. So you can take a, a hands-off approach with some people in terms of your leadership approach. So those are the two main styles, autocratic, democratic, and then we talked a little bit about laissez-faire. Question of the day, what's your style of leadership? And better yet, what, are, what do you think the people around you think about your style of leadership? I would love to hear your comments in that section below. So thanks, God bless, and I will see you in the next video.